Hello, LinkedIn. Thank you all for joining me in another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist at Lakeside Process Controls. Today's video, we're discussing Rose Mount's 5300 series of guided wave radar level transmitters. Last video, we looked at how we utilize pulse radar technology to deliver reliable level measurements. Today, we're going to look at how we're able to use this transmitter to deliver an interface measurement in a variety of applications. Now, the most common interface measurement application that we run into is an oil water separator, as pictured here. The oil floats on top of the water, and most customers are either interested in the upper product thickness, the lower product thickness, or where this interface is. The idea being they're going to try to pump out the oil or pump out the water. They want to make sure that they are having adequate separation between these products. They don't want to have any mixing. So how is this possible? Well, we have to go back to the basics and look at the dielectric constants of various products and understand that the greater the dielectric constant, the greater the strength of the signal return. So most oil water applications, the oil is on the top and the water is on the bottom. And that's the difference of their specific gravities. Now what happens is the microwave pulse is not entirely reflected by the oil. In fact, a good portion of the microwave pulse can travel through the oil and reflect off the next layer below, the water layer. And beyond that, actually still, some of the microwave pulse can continue and reflect off the bottom of the vessel. And so what you're left with is a couple of echoes that the transmitter sees, the top level, the interface level, and actually the bottom of the vessel. Now using the algorithm built inside, Rosemont's 5300 series is able to differentiate between these echoes and do the basic math to output, let's say, the top product thickness. So how is this possible? Well, it comes down to this dielectric constant. So we need the dielectric constant of the upper product to be lower than that of the bottom product. Right? With a low dielectric constant, we do not have as great of a signal return. And that's because a good chunk of the microwave pulse can still travel and propagate through the oil. So that's why this is a requirement. And oil water applications, oil is always on top, so you're good to go there. The other component is we need to have a difference of about six or more in the dielectric constant between these products. And the reason is when the microwave pulse travels down the probe, we need to be able to clearly differentiate between these two echoes, and that's achieved by having that difference in dielectric constants. Oil water applications, oil is typically between two to four, and water is in the 80s, so we have a substantial difference between the dielectric constant, which allows us to deliver a reliable level measurement. Do you have any questions about Rosemount's 5300 series of guided wave radars or any other of our products? Please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.